Welcome back guys to a new video and now today we're going to be going through the full Arc Digest number 53 for Arc Survival Evolved in the Community Crunch 145. Now if you don't know what an Arc Digest is, it's basically like a Q&A, so we ask wildcard questions and then they answer the ones they want to and give us all the most up to date information. Now it's absolutely amazing to see that this is back and uh, my last video was on S Plus and the information I got from that was from the Arc Digest but I decided it would just be a better idea to go through all of the Arc Digest so make sure to watch this video very carefully guys so you don't miss out on any information you may want to have known about because there's some great stuff here and thank you to Wildcard for bringing this video. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Let's try and smash over 700 likes on today's video. That'd be absolutely amazing, guys. Thank you for always smashing that like target. It means so, so much to me. But let's just get in with today's video. So, Arc Digest number 53. Hey, survivors, welcome to the latest edition of the Community Crunch, Arc Digest 53. Thank you for all your questions, survivors. We're excited to be bringing back the Arc Digest as it's been quite a while since we've had one. We plan to do these approximately once a month going forward, so the Digest 54 will take place in the near end of September. Now, that is absolutely fantastic to see because before, like, you know, um, so when there was the old Arc Digest going on, we had loads of information and then they just stopped them and we just had nothing. There was no information going on and it was like the only time we were getting information is if they ever tweeted something we really already knew about or if we got the odd message from one of the devs on Twitter. So it's great to see we are going to be getting these every month until they say so. So fantastic news there. The one in September should be pretty awesome as well because we'll get even more news on extinction which is not long away so let's just get into it this here is our question and answer session with lead programmer chris um and let's just get straight into this guys because there's lots of information so a survivor asks i'm getting the feeling that extinction will be a no flyer map like aberration was the new cryo chamber system the climbing enforcer the drone floating boxes the gas and the gas bag seem like the things that will be replacing flying so I just get the idea that there may not be flyers on extinction. Would you please be able to clarify that this, there will be or won't be? Flyers are allowed on extinction and that was their reply, well Wildcard's reply to this question. There will be a number of existing flyers that spawn in extinction and we're working on a few more to add to your collection. That said, there will be a new, cha well, new challenges of flyers on this map as we're excited for you to discover and contend with. So... We're going to be having um, some of the old flyers on the game, such as probably the Pteranodon and RGs, but they have just announced there as well, we've got a bunch of brand new flyers coming. So that's already confirmed there, guys, that we are going to be getting new flying creatures coming to the game, which is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. The one, thing, the one interesting thing is going to be which dinos aren't going to be in extinction and which ones are going to be replacing the old ones. So obviously we know the Giga's in it, we know the Rex is in it, all of that. So they'll probably have the most important dinos. But what is, isn't going to be an extinction and what is going to be replacing it? That is going to be a huge, huge question. Now, people that have been wondering on the Kibble Tree rework, which has been going on for absolutely a uh, ages. So any news on the Kibble Tree, uh, Kibble Tree rework? And they replied, while well, imperfect, a lot of thought and work went into building the Kibble Tree as it stands now. A number of us internally would like to make a major, well, make like to make major changes to this, potentially rebuilding it from the ground up. The reality is that it represents a significant undertaking that would be very disruptive to the game. If we decide to tackle this, it will be post extinction. So this is interesting to see. They were basically working on this Kibble Tree re rework for so long and so many people were hyped for it. And I just remember people talking to me about this, playing this on, you know, my old, old dedicated servers right from the start before we even had like servers, well, before we could even rent them. It's been so, so long. And um, so they said post extinction. So there's still a chance this will be happening. But to me... I, you know, knowing Wildcard, I don't want to be sending, I'm not sending any hate towards Wildcard, I never do, but just as a funny thing, they don't tend to hit all their release dates and stick to things, so I don't really see it, but if they do it, then wow, I will be pretty shocked, but that's for anyone that um, wants to know about the Kibble Tree rework. So, will there be artifacts in Extinction, and will the Obelisk still be used to go through to the boss's room and in Extinction? So... 
We're still hammering out the exact summoning mechanics, but the Titan battles and extinction will take place on the live map. There will not be a separate boss fight arenas for them. So that is interesting to see there. So they're still ex trying to decide the exact summoning mechanics for what they're going to be doing for the um, for the bosses. Well, for the boss or you know for the bosses in extinction, the Titan battles in extinction will take pl take place on the live map. So when you actually summon a Titan, that will just happen on extinction. Um, but they don't really know what they're going to do for the final boss because if you guys didn't know, there's going to be the mini bosses, which are the Titans, which are not mini. They're absolutely huge. And then there's going to be a final boss which you will fight in the game to complete extinction. So, this is something I've already covered in a video. It's basically talking about S+, so I'm not going to be going through it. It's just them saying what's going to be going on, and they just said um, they're going to be making like little additions to S+, coming in after extinction launches. So that's a little sum up, but if you want to be, you know, hear more information on it and stuff, then that is in yesterday's, well, no, the day, it won't be in yesterday's video because I didn't upload yesterday uh, for while I'm recording this video, but it will be in my last video, basically. So next question was, have you definitely decided for or against whether some mechanics from the expansion packs may carry over to the other maps? I'm thinking of the cliff platforms that would be cool to build on the island or on the other maps. So the, the answer to that was, when we set out to build an expan expansion, we seek to add gameplay that adds to the core experience of the game. Our goal then is to allow those mechanics to be used in all places that make sense. Cliff platforms work on all maps, for example, and a number of the features we're adding to Extinction are meant to be used across of uh, are meant to be used across all our other maps. They're meant to change things up on multiple levels. That's fantastic to hear because let's say if you play Extinction and you don't enjoy it that much, uh, like how Aberration happened, there may still be some cool things that have been added into it, which you may want to bring onto the other maps, such as like Ragnarok or the Island or something. But I have big faith in, in, in Extinction. It isn't aberration it isn't this like broken underworld and stuff that people just really didn't enjoy because it wasn't comforting it was in my eye in my eyes i could you guys may think differently to me to me it was a bit boring i i I, this is what I think, Think like, you know, I played a series, well, I tried to start a series, and I just got bored, like, I just didn't enjoy Aberration, um, but Extinction in my eyes looks like the exact map that I've been waiting for, you're on Earth, it could be great, so I'm, I'm glad that they're still going to have the mechanics going forward to the other maps as well, because I still love Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok and the Island anyway, so, next one, um, so, we've got... Is it or will it will it be possible to run multiple events as a server uh, server owner? Sorry, for example, both the Easter event and archaeology event at the same time. Unfortunately, no. When we set out, set out earlier this year to rebuild the event system in the way that, that that would be able to persist, we decided not to ensure the compatibility between them. Largely, they modify many of the same bits, so in making them fully compatible would would uh, well compatible would take a significant amount of work and lower the likelihood that we could implement other cool things like the bone pile spawning in the archaeology event. So basically what they're saying is they don't want to be able to make two events active at the same time because this could end up like, you know, ruining other things for the other event, which is, you know, it's interesting to find out. While I'm talking, my voice is getting worse and worse. You guys know I've been ill for so long and um, <coughs> it's actually getting quite painful, but that cough helped there. So straight back into the news. Um, I sound like Keemstar there. Next question was, with Extinction being the biggest DLC you've done yet, can we expect the most, if not all, dinos in the game to be featured on the map? So, this is actually what I wanted to hear about. A number of previous creatures will inhabit on the Extinction map, as well as the other expansions, will bring across the ones that make the most sense and incorporate them. In addition, we're adding the highly aggressive, corrupted versions of a number of creatures to provide new challenges. So what we know is what I talked about earlier is there's going to be brand new dinos coming, which is as you we know there's new flyers. Obviously, it's not confirmed yet about the other dinos, but we know there's probably going to be new other dinos in Extinction. They're going to take a few from the old maps, which they think are the most useful ones and make sense that everyone loves. And then they're going to have the corrupted version on them as well, which is like how Extinction works. They become like elementally, element infused dinos and stuff, which makes it more of a challenge to fight against, which is going to be interesting there. 
Now moving on to a video that I'm going to be doing separately, so I'm actually not going to be talking about it, which is about Fear Evolved. You guys can pause the video if you really want to, to see the information there, but I'm making it in a separate video, as you guys can see there. I gave you another sneak peek there about Fear Evolved. Now, that is going to be with what's going on with Fear Evolved. Obviously, if you guys want to uh, read up there, then you can. But I'm going to be making a, a whole nother video on it coming later on in the week. And the reason behind this is there's the information from here. And I've got some other information about events in general that you guys will want to know about. So... I covered this in my S Plus video, will there be any new mods coming out for console players? And they're aware that console players would like to see more in this space. They don't have anything specific to announce at the moment, but stay tuned. Not really much information there, but at least it shows that they are planning to still do this, which is fantastic. And finally, the last question from the Art Digest number 53 is, if you had to describe Extinction in three words, what would they be? So, um, Progeus challenging i probably just prodigious i probably just said that wrong challenging fresh the titans will bring a number of new elements to the core experience through public boss fights and take and basically taming of even larger creatures the new in-world event system we're building will bring new gameplay to both pve and pve servers Finally, the introduction of the new sit of the city brings a whole new dynamic of explore exploration and building, and I'm really excited about these new elements. So, guys, there's a lot to look forward to there, and I cannot wait for Extin Extinction. It's going to be fantastic. Um, <clears throat> probably one of the, like the best things we've seen ever with Ark Survival Evolved. There's so much hype around it right now. In my opinion, this could be the rise or the fall of Ark. And I know I say this a lot, but really, um, well, the only time I ever said that was for Sea of Thieves. But talking about Ark right now, this has so much potential. And please do not let us down, Wildcard. Please don't. Really, the rest of the community crunch I, co I covered in my other video is about the roundup about the auction house and stuff. Uh, Extinction Chronicles 3 that was released. Mod community updates. Some amazing fan art, which I've already covered in my other video. And about the Ark Evolution event, which is from Friday the 21st of August to Monday the 27th at times two rates. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy the Arc Digest today, make sure to smash the like on today's video. As I said, let's try and smash over 700 likes. Be subscribed to the channel as well because, you know, um, if you don't want to miss out on any Arc videos and stuff, we've got so much to come up, then that will be absolutely amazing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.